You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He's been on the program before, and he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have board-certified oral surgeon, Dr. Michael Picos. I was telling you, I know denture wearers, a couple of them. They never complain. Are you saying there's no such thing as a happy denture wearer? Well, you know, it's interesting that you even bring that up because the life of a denture patient is very interesting. And I couldn't appreciate this in my early years, but as time went on, wow. You know, you take time to talk to your patient more, you, you listen, and that's the most important thing, is just listening. And what I've learned is amazing in, over the years now, and that is the following, that the life of a denture patient, think about this for a bit, they've got to glue in their teeth for the most part. Most of them, especially okay. a lower denture, has to be glued in, adhesive. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, denture adhesives. Okay. Now, how much fun is that to glue in your teeth? You're drinking something warm and or hot, and all of a sudden that glue now gets not so good in terms of adhesiveness, so the teeth start to move. Nah, that's not so fun. But how about you're in a restaurant? Number one, you've got to look at that menu and, and pick very carefully what you can eat and not eat. And if you're with a group of people, which typically you're going to be, it's a little embarrassing in that sense. But now how about this? You're eating and all of a sudden you've got to excuse yourself because the glue's not there anymore. And or you've got to what? You've got food under the denture. So they've got to kind of quietly sneak out into the restroom. Ouch. That's not they so much fun. They tell you this fun. stuff? Oh, sure. When you, when you prompt enough, amazing. I've learned that. Ask them questions and you'd be surprised the answers you get. So when they get their teeth back, they're smiling. Amazing. Maybe they're the life of the party the way they used to be. Amazing. The smile is such <laughs> a big thing. Are you kidding? I mean, let's face it. 95% of us, of our body is covered by clothing. 5% or so is here. And when we talk, where do we zero in on? The teeth. Absolutely makes a huge difference. The smile and now the self-image changes. And my goodness, when we see the dramatic changes. It's truly outwardly amazing. As I mentioned, the hairdo changes, the clothes, makeup, etc. But more so people just feeling better about themselves. I mean, good night. I've had patients that the spouses will remark and say, thank you for what you did for my husband or for my wife, because now I've got the spouse back that I had before. Retirement now makes all the sense. Before, I had this old grumpy guy <laughs> sitting in the chair with the clicker, but now, oh my gosh, he's rejuvenated. He's a new man, and I feel like I'm married all over again. It's so neat because yeah. you changed his life. Good you, you transformed his life. You know, we had a cup of uh, uh, tea together, green tea downstairs, and, and you were saying, Randy, or I'm paraphrasing, but I have my own teeth. I, I take for granted that there's so many people that are embarrassed of their teeth or embarrassed of their old denture. Absolutely. And so I guess your message is letting them know they have options. Absolutely. In fact, right. You know, we many times we feel pigeonholed and we get caught in our own little ruts. But the good news is we can make changes. And one of the best changes any patient can make, any person that has dentures in particular, wow. We can offer them a range of, of options from as little as few as two implants to snap in teeth to four to five that give you the ability to have permanent teeth, 12 of them in each jaw. Wow, what a difference. Now, now I've had people that come on this program that will say, but Randy, fix teeth. That's what people want, teeth that don't come in and out. And you're talking about snap in, snap out. Well, no, absolutely. But here's the thing. You know, there's so many centers that offer only one option, and that is everybody gets a size 10 shoe, meaning one size fits all. What do I mean by that? I yeah. mean that everybody must get their teeth out and permanent teeth in. Well, you know what, that's really being insensitive to a number of our patients because a lot of these teeth can be saved and that's a great thing because what God gave us is a good tooth we can't replace with any dental implant that we have available today, not even close, Okay. not even close. So therefore, one option is to save some teeth and work around those teeth. We always give our patients that option. You know, one of the things that really frustrates me a lot, Randy, is that you know, some of the centers that offer the, the option of, the only option, by the way, there is no real option, it's one thing, meaning permanent teeth for everybody that walks in the door, it's, it's 
unfortunate for a lot of our patients because Why? about 70% of these folks can't afford to have a full set of permanent teeth. So they're sent out the door to suffer with their dentures. You know, I, I have a problem with that. And, and that's why from day one, we've always offered options. Again, as few as two implants can snap teeth in and so out. So full RTT snap in, snap Absolutely. out. Absolutely. And, uh, and guess what? We can graduate them and in time, as they can afford it, we can then add a couple more implants and go to permanent teeth. In fact, I know your dad from that's a right. story I you related that. to me uh, some time back, started with just two implants. He had a snap in, snap out, sure. upper and lower. Now he's got permanent teeth on the upper and lower.